Hello friends, today we are going to see what is AVL tree. So let's see. An AVL tree is a self-balancing tree. Now, what is the meaning of self-balancing? And why is this self-balancing needed? This is what is I am going to explain in this lecture. Now, see, this is a binary search tree. And in this binary search tree, if you want to search an element, then the worst time complexity will be O of the height of the binary tree. Now how it is? So I will tell you, suppose you want to search 18, okay, then you will first have comparison with the root, yes, root is not equal to 18. But root is 10. So 18 must be on the right side of root because 18 is greater than 10. So go to the right side. Now on the right side there is an element. So compare that element with 18. No, it is not equal to 18. This is 15. So 18 must be on the right side of 15 because 18 is greater than 15. Then again 17. 17 is not equal to 18 and 18 is greater than 17. So 18 must be on the right side of 17. Again this node. Compare this node with 18. Yes, 18 is equal to 18. So we have found out our element. So we can say that 18 is present inside this binary search tree. See how many comparisons we did 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 comparisons which is equal to the height of this binary tree. Maximum we will do four comparisons for this binary tree because it is the height of the binary tree. We cannot go more than the height. We cannot go in depth more than the height of the binary tree. Right. So always the worst time complexity for searching an element in a binary tree is O of H that is the height of the binary tree. For finding out the height of the binary tree, you can see my video and I have mentioned the link in the description below for finding out the height of a binary tree. Now, see, this is the second example. In this example also, if you want to find out 19, then obviously you need 1, 2, 3 and 4 comparisons, which is equal to the height of this binary tree. So, O of 4 means the height. So, O of H is the worst time complexity. Now, if your binary tree is a skewed binary tree. See, this is a right skewed binary tree. Right skewed. So, if your binary tree is a right skewed binary tree, then if you want to search 17, the last element in this binary tree, see you have to make the comparisons like 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. The fifth element is 17. So you found 17 here. So you made 5 comparisons. And the number of elements in this binary tree are equal to 5. Means you are comparing O of n. Okay, you are comparing in O of n time. So n is equal to the number of elements. So, and in this case here, the number of elements were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 elements were there. And we made 4 comparisons. 
and we made four comparisons right so here there are 10 elements and we are making four comparisons which is okay but here there are five elements and we are making five comparisons means we are comparing all the elements in the worst time which is not a good time complexity for an efficient program so we have to balance this right skewed tree or we have to balance this left skewed tree this is called as left skewed tree left skewed binary search tree so we have to balance such trees and they have to be self balancing means we have to write such a program which will self balance the trees to make them always have a time complexity while searching an element as o of h that is o of the height of that binary tree now let's see what is the balance factor for balancing the binary search tree so the balance factor of a binary search tree is height of left subtree minus height of right subtree so let's apply them here this is the root what is the height of left subtree that is equal to 3 okay and right subtree it is 0 because there is no element so 3 minus 0 is 3 see balance factor of this binary tree is 3 then balance factor for this binary tree is this 2 minus 0 so that is 2 okay see 2 nodes on the left side and 0 nodes on the right side so 2 minus 0 that is 2 see then for this 3 minus 0 now for this 1 minus 0 so 1 then 0 minus 0 so 0 right now here 0 minus 1 so that is minus 1 now 0 minus 2 nodes so 0 minus 2 2 so minus 2 right now then 0 minus 3 so that is minus 3 okay now I will tell you out of all these trees only these three are balanced all other trees are not balanced because the balance factor 1 0 and minus 1 for every node in a binary tree then that binary tree is considered as a balanced binary tree and it is called as the avl tree but if it is greater than 1 and less than minus 1 then that binary search tree or that tree is not called as the balanced binary tree or AVL tree now why it is that only 1 0 and minus 1 are called as balanced binary trees the reason for balancing the tree or keeping the balance factors as 1 0 and minus 1 is that we want to limit the skewness of the binary search tree means we want to put a limit on the skewness see a binary search tree can be called as perfectly balanced only if all the nodes in that binary search tree have balance factor 0 this can be called as perfectly balanced but our AVL tree has balance factors as 1, 0 and minus 1. So AVL tree is called as almost balanced. Not perfectly balanced. It is called as almost balanced binary search tree. Means in simple words we are just trying to limit the skewness of the binary search tree 
so that when we search an element in the binary search tree, we should not search for all the elements. We, it should be easy for us to search that element in that binary search tree and it will be easy when that binary search tree is almost balanced. So let's see some more examples here. C. 1 minus 1 is 0. For this node, the balance factor is 0. Now, for this node, what is the balance factor? 0 minus 0, 0. Again, this is 0 minus 0 is 0. This you can call it as perfectly balanced. Now, in this binary search tree C, 2 is the height of this left subtree and right subtree is 1. So, 2 minus 1 is 1. Then for this node, C, 1 minus 0 is 1. For this node, 0 minus 0 is 0. Then 0 minus 0 is 0. C. Then again in this tree, for the root is 3 minus 1 is 2. Then for this, 2 minus 0 is 2. Then 1 minus 0 is 1. Then Again, for this is 0. C. And for this, it is 0. C. In this binary search tree, there are nodes with balance factor more than 1. So, this binary tree is not AVL tree. This is not an AVL tree. We need to make this tree as AVL tree by applying some operations. Now, Again, for this tree, the same thing. There are some nodes with balance factor as 2. This is the node. So, this is not an AVL tree. C. When we go for further operations, we are not going to write all the nodes or all the subtree. We will just write it as a square and we will write there as subtree of, uh, for example, balance factor 3. Means that root is having the balance factor 3 for that subtree. And for this, for example, 2. So, 3 minus 2 is 1. So, for this whole tree, the for the root, the balance factor is 1. Okay? Now, for such trees, which are not AVL trees, which are not AVL trees, we are going to learn some operations to perform on these binary search trees so that they get converted into AVL tree. And we are going to see this operation in the next video. Hey friends, please subscribe to my channel as I post algorithm videos every day. And if you want a video on any particular topic, then please mention in the comment below. Thank you.